Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. We're starting today off pretty chill by cooking some carambuans, making sure we are ready for all the PVM challenges. And from then on, it's really just about gaining points and finishing our best in slot items. Not going to keep intro too long. Let's jump right into the clips. A little bit of cooking later and we're now on 35 million. That's 200 extra points. That means we are on 51.3. K points at the moment, we're about 5k away from the dragon tier. I think it would be achievable in this episode if I just get my ass into the inferno and quickly do it. I don't know why I've been procrastinating doing the inferno. I feel like I just don't need the cave, therefore I don't want to go inside, but uh, I feel like I need to do it in this episode. I might go all the way to 50 right now, I'm kind of in the mood to just do a bit of clicking. I'm going to do a little bit of pest control skilling, meaning I'm gonna try and get my attack to 50 mil, strength to 50 mil, defense to 50 mil, range to... never mind, prayer to 50 50 mil, maybe magic to 50 mil as well. Obviously not gonna do all of it in one go, but I'm gonna get through all my gems, then I'm gonna go get through all my fletching and just AFK and do it all inside pest control. That's basically the idea. We'll see how long I do it for. All right, so I did about half an hour of pest control over here. And what I wonder is if this is better than Soul Wars. So I got about 1,200 points. I had 200 already there. And I want to see how much we get. So we start on 13.2 million. I'll just write it down before I forget. I'm just going to put everything in attack. I want to get 50 million in all of these skills. So this is going to be 1 mil. That is 15 mil. I'm trying to do calculations in my mind as to how much. Wait, if I get about a million and I had 14, will I just get 14 mil XP for half an hour? So is this place like 28 mil XP an hour? I think that might be the case, you know. So let's go. Let's put it all the way up to 25 mil right now. Okay, I mean, I think I'll do this all the way to max stats. The best part about this in comparison to Soul Wars is the fact that I can multi-skill at the same time. Here's 200 extra points. I'll do this a little bit longer. I think I'll do it for like about an hour more. Get this up to at least 30, 35 mil. And as I said, I can make gems throughout the whole part and multi-skill. I can do fletching, I can do crafting, I can do so many things. So this is definitely gonna be my go-to to get a bunch of free points, to get a bunch of 50 mils in combat. This place is great. We got a thousand more points. Let's quickly use them all on the attack. Trying to get up to 35 million. And one more should do it. There it is, 35 million, 200 extra points. And I think I will push it all the way to 50 million right now. I ended up crafting all of my gems. We're up to 14.6 million crafting XP. And right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of my magic logs, which I have zero of. All of my new logs, which I don't have that much of. And I'm gonna start training fletching whilst also getting these points. So let's keep this going. A little bit more pest controlling later. We got a lot of points right now. 2.5k. Let's take a look where this gets us. And there it is. Big 50 million attack. We never need to touch attack again in these leagues. But I still have a bunch of points. I guess the next one probably just gonna go defense and see how far we can go in that. And there we go. One more in defense and that is 25 million defense XP as well. Up to 52,000 points. Almost at the dragon tier. I think I'm gonna stay here for a bit longer. It's pretty late at night right now. I'm just kind of vibing, getting my fletching going. It's a pretty chill place. All right, so super late night gaming. I thought I could stack more points, but 4,000 is the actual limit. So because of the limit, let's go ahead and use it all on the defense right now. And that is 50 million defense XP as well. Uh, I guess we just move on to strength next. And that is 25 million strength XP. So if we look into this quickly, attack fully completed, defense fully completed. I'm going to go ahead and finish strength. I'm going to go ahead and finish magic. But I will leave prayer because I have a bunch of bones that I'm going to get throughout just playing this league. I just found 3,500 points more up to 15 million fletching XP. And let's go ahead and completely finish our strength training as well. That should be 35 million for 200 points. And we should easily reach 50 million as well. Okay, and we're just gonna do a couple of tens to finish it off. There we go. So that's gonna be 50 mil attack, strength, defense, HP, ranged. All of that is now achieved. And since I went a little bit extra, uh, let's put everything else that we have over here on the magic. And maybe I get up to 25 mil here as well. I think I should be able to. Okay, this one should do it right here. 
and that is 25 million magic XP as well. If I get 2,500 more points, I can finish 50 mil magic as well. And we're up to 53,400 points. Since I have a lot of fletching to still do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get 2,500 more points. And then all of our combat skills are gonna be completely finished for this league. All right, and I farmed myself 2,500 more points. It is time to chuck everything into magic. We're on 25 mil right now. I think I can get it all the way to 50. That's gonna be 35 million, that's 200 points. And I'll be a little bit short. There we go, but I do think this will just naturally come as we are doing like PVM with Shadow, whatever it is, maybe some Alks here and there. And I think getting this 2 million XP should be no problem whatsoever. Alright, I am back at solo next, still hunting for my Nihilhorn and Torva pieces and first drop is Uncut Diamonds, uh, some Death Runes and Coal, Casey 160. And we get a bunch of Onyx Bolts, which is actually not too bad, it's either a mill or I can use it to sustain, so that's fine. And I get 111k, I didn't even know you can get coins from here. And we get Rubies and Water Runes. Okay, here's another next and I think this is gonna be the last one for a little bit. Wait, this is it! This is it! I got it! I actually got it! No way! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! On the last kill I get it. I actually just got it. This is it! This is the item we've been hunting for! This is what's been stopping me from doing everything that I wanted to do in this league. This is insane! I'm so happy! It took us 163 kills, mainly solos. Every solo takes about 8 minutes. If you guys are good at calculations, you can calculate how long it took us to get this drop. Oh my goodness. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. I have no clue how this works, but I have an ACB, I have the Nihil Horn, and I definitely have enough shards. How do I make this thing? Wait, first let's just check the stats. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember this, but this is the stats before. Create a Zarite crossbow. Oh, it's beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous, look at it. Anyways, these are the stats after, I don't know how big of an increase it is, but I know it's a massive increase in strength, and this is perfect. We are literally missing one item from full biz, that is Mazori Chaps. It's not that important of an item, so I can go ahead and do most of the PVM stuff that I wanted to do that I've been procrastinating on, and then I worry about Mazori Chaps whenever I can do some duos. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 300 Leviathan. If we quickly take a look, there's tasks for defeating Leviathan 150 times, 300 times, but also Awakened Leviathan. And what he drops is also Verdus pieces, which are best in slot mage pieces for me, for my regions. So this boss is good to farm. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, and we already have the ring, so Virtus and Axe pieces is all we are looking for. So this is the biggest increase. You see how my specs now deal 110 damage instead of 100? That is a massive difference. And this should be super relaxing, super easy. And the first drop is already very good. 225 Dragon Bolts is one of the best drops you can get here. So this is gonna be fun. We're starting on KC 79. But let's push this KC up to 300 or as close to it as possible. Here's 100 KC. And I actually know what I want to do right now. I want to go attempt 6 Jad challenge. Now that I have the better weapon. And I want to see how it goes. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I'm not as burnt. And then I can always come back here. I think I'll do it in successions of like 50 kills. Then do something else. Then do 50 kills. And so on. Come on, two jets left. Okay, one jet left. No way I'm actually doing this. Oh my god, there we go. There's no way. I just came back, few failed attempts. Maybe the Zerite crossbow was the difference. And there it is, the 6th Jad challenge is actually done. I genuinely never thought I'd be able to do this, I'ma be honest. But I did it, and I don't even think I died. Oh no, I think I used my Relic of Death once. But still, we cheesed it a little bit, but we had it done, and that's 200 points I thought I would never get. We are almost at 54,000, meaning we are so close to Dragon Rank, and I think as soon as I come back from the store, I'm sending it in Inferno, and that should be a ton more points as well. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go 
grab out the ice gloves and do a little bit of thieving because I'm still missing a diamond from Tazar. That is huge. That's really nice. And I do believe there's also more tasks. So if I were to look into challenges, uh, yeah, Tazar challenges, I will slowly look into completing those as well. So one is uh, five and six without failing. That one I think I can do if I like really focus. Oh, different the textile for each Jad. And you have like a lot of different options, but uh, I think most of these I can probably do. Uh, but that is going to be for a later date. I'm pretty excited, man. Today is a good day. Zarat crossbow into six Jads, and now we keep it going. <laughs> Didn't catch it, but there's a pickpocket, a diamond from Tezar that gave us 200 more points and we are now on 54.1. I guess it is time to go into the Inferno. It's been a minute, but with our relics, I think we should be fine. Okay, we made it through the waves, pretty much no problems. Let's see how fast we can do this. It took me 40 minutes to go through the waves. It's crazy when you do six jets how easy the normal jets are then. Like it's so insane. It's like it's in a slow motion. Okay, let's go straight into Zuck. No pre-planning. I don't really know uh, what to pre-plan for. All right, and there we go. Easiest Zuck of my life. Just like that. We probably get a bunch of tasks here. Uh, from 54,000 points to... I don't know. There's going to be like a lot of grandmasters and stuff. I guess it's to equip one. That's gonna be probably be a point as well. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Infernal Cape, uh, legit, with my relics, completely easy. I don't know, like, I got a bunch of stuff. Obviously, I will do 5KC in the future. Uh, so we see how it goes, but uh, yeah, happy to have this done as well. I, for some reason, always hate Inferno. I know I can do it. I've done it so many times, like, even in the main game. But still, there is a part of me that really hates this place because when I was going for my very first Infernal Cape, I needed so long and I completely burned from the game. But anyways, we got it. It's simple. We got 400 points for it. We're up to 54,000. 590 so close to the dragon tier let's start pushing for it well now that this has been a very pvm heavy day it is time to go on and start pushing for some points i already gained like thousand regs in this episode alone but i want to get dragon tier of course and i want to go further beyond the dragon tier so let's go ahead and get a rogues outfit first that didn't take too long we got the mask top Trousers, boots, gloves, bam. That should be an 80 pointer. There it is. And we are now up to 54,670 points. That is Porcin of Interest completed. A little bit of Slayer XP, a few points, not bad. Decided to sell some of my death runes. I honestly don't even know how I have this many. This should be 80 pointer. Completing easy tasks for a lot of points right now. And that is us finishing a lap as a penguin. Nice. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Killing eight penguins in five seconds. Dude, I've been clicking this chest for 450 attempts for a one in 200 item that happens to just not exist just so I can get 40 points. Uh, afterwards so we need a key basically and uh, let me just tell you we are not currently getting a key complain and you shall receive all right let's figure out what i can do with this thing with this key you can enter this little how should we call it little tower here on this little uh, island north of the isle of soul you can go down the ladder and apparently it is right in here so it has some decent chances but most importantly we get these 40 points I don't really know what loot I got from it, but we'll take it and we'll dip and we'll be happy with the 40 points we got for that. Since I'm so close to Dragon Tier, I wanted to finish off the 50 million magic as well. And I do believe I have enough points. It's just gonna take me a bit of 10x. All right, I'll do some like alking whilst doing other things then. I'm literally like few alks away. This task slipped through the fingers, but here is us making a magic shield. That is apparently an 80 point task. That's crazy. And here is us creating 50 mana fight remedies for 80 points. And this is going to be us finally finishing the 50 million magic XP for 200 points. Getting extremely close. Less than 800 points away from Dragon Tier right now. Which was original goal for the series. But now that I see how many things I can still do for a lot of easy points. I'm kind of starting to get motivated to maybe start pushing for some of the ranks. Because at the moment of recording this, I'm like rank, I don't know, let's say 800 or so. But I think I could enhance it by quite a lot. So we'll see what I end up doing. 
uh, for now, I might go and do a little bit of Maspa. I made some Sapphire Dragon Bolts and there's quite a lot of tasks regarding Maspa. So let's uh, let's give it a little bit of a shot, see how it feels. Apparently, I just did a couple of tasks and I got this ancient icon, which I believe I can complete another task with this. If I add this on my ancient scepter and I believe that is a task pointer there. So that is a pretty good drop to get. I don't like this boss at all. But there's 500 combat achievements. What did I just do? I just did something. Thank you for the ancient essence. I get sp speedrunner. I guess I did it even faster. One minute and four. Uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, I'll take it. And we get a bunch of this ancient essence as well. Which we will need, I think, to saturate our heart. I believe that's what this is used for. Oh, and this boss also drops unfinished dragon bolts. So that is even more... Oh, and this I can turn into 55 brews for some XP there as well. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna take a look at what other tasks are there for Maspa. Maybe I can complete all of the combat achievements with this boss. Okay, so this is the one where I do not uh, run. And I also got a frozen cache, which, what is this used for? Spirit Seed, there we go, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna try to also do 10 kills in one trip right now for another combat achievement. I believe that is us uh, walk straight, pray through another combat achievement. I believe this one is the one where I don't do any mistakes, but you know, I might be wrong. Uh, there's another frozen cache and there is even more dragon bolts unfinished, which is amazing actually. I did not know this boss drops so much stuff. I feel like that should be the combat achievement completed. There's usually spikes everywhere. All right, there we go. Essence farmer. I now understand what this ancient icon does. If I speak to Iblis, I found this weird icon and I'm pretty sure he will now go ahead and combine this into an ancient scepter. That should be a task. I think it's an 80 pointer. There we go. And this pretty much can auto cast uh, barrage spells and stuff like that. So, and I think it deals obviously a bit more damage than the other scepter that we just had. It's going to go in the bank, never to be used again, but we are going to be happy with the 80 points. Oh, so satisfying. Five, 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 zero total points right now. We're less than 500 away from being a dragon tier. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is where in the last kill I did not do it right. So we're gonna do it again now. That seems about right. Beautiful. Space is tight is now also completed. That was nice and easy. And from here on, I think I'll just go for Casey tasks because I don't... Oh, Ancient Brew. I don't even know what that is. Uh, because from here on, I genuinely don't know if I can kill it by smiting it with three different things. I mean, I have smite, I have sapphire bolts, but I don't have any... Oh, maybe ancient mace is what I need. I think I can actually get that. I'll worry about that in the future, though. All right, and that is a phantom Maspa veteran. I think this is a nice place for us to stop Maspa for now. And as it is getting fairly late, I'm gonna do a little bit of room crafting minigame. There is a lot of points logged behind that. Or some clue scrolls. Wait, I think I might actually do some clue scrolls. This one is very tempting. Fill 50 easy clue collection log slots. Here is lucky 13 easy caskets. I just need to get a bunch of unique and these vestment stuff can be extra points that we don't have as well. So starting off pretty nice. That is pretty decent. That's 25 easy clue scrolls completed as well. We're going for 50 uniques, I believe. Uh, but as you can see, we're getting a lot of rolls right now, which is really good. Uh, but we keep it going. Uh, that's Wheezy G. I believe if I equip full G um, of the this thingy, it's also a task. So that's pretty solid. Ham joint. That's pretty cool. Uh, Team Cape I. I do believe this is... Okay, it's not a task, but that is a pretty cool looking cape. Okay, more, uh, dude, you're getting so many uniques of this. Armadillo robe legs, that can be useful as well. Very solid, actually. This is what maybe I've been missing out not doing elites earlier. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of points here that I can get almost for free. We got three more. Let's see if we get a bit luckier. Couple more uniques there. Black cane, that's probably new as well. Iron plate skirt G. And we got the last one for some more stuff. Let's take a look. So I... Didn't quite get it, but I probably got fairly close. So I now have 46 out of 50 uniques that I need. So we're going to do a little bit more clue scrolls. We got eight more. It is pretty late night, so we keep it a little bit on the low. We are trying to get to 50 uniques. This is one more, I'd say. Nothing in this one. Maybe one more there. Not sure. Hopefully this is new. And yeah, there it is. Fill 50 easy clue collection log slots. That will be a 200 pointer, I think. There it is. Perfect. We are now 240 points away 
from the dragon rank. But of course, we have five more. I don't know if this is what I was missing. That's pretty good though. That's usually the same thing. Oh, I think I'm missing Zami Miter, which I think you can only get from medium clues. Nothing there. And a couple more uniques there. Not too bad at all. And here is five more mediums because this will complete 25 mediums in a row. And we are hoping for pages and we're hoping for miters. That's an armadil. I don't know if that's the one I need. That I don't think is unique. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Nothing special in this one. Yeah, none of the pages were unique. And we have the last one. And that is not a unique, but we've now completed 25 clues, 40 points, 55.800. I'm gonna go grind something chill right now over the night, and we got another casket. Let's see what do we get. There we go. All right, ladies, gentlemen, with this Karambo one right here, we have gone and done it. Exactly 56,000 points, meaning we are now a dragon rank, the highest rank you can achieve in League. We took our time with it, obviously with the next grind and everything, but eventually that was our goal, pretty easily achieved, and obviously right now we are very early in December. So here I have two thoughts really. Thought number one is I make another character and I grind another character up to dragon rank because I think it is super doable and I would take completely different relics, completely different areas to make it nice and interesting. Uh, but what I'm more leaning towards firstly is actually fully bissing out of the account. That is finishing on the Mazori chaps, finishing all the bosses, finishing Leviathan, finishing Duke, finishing Maspa. Uh, everything there is to finish really, maybe all the god swords from the um, god wars and stuff like that and then transition onto the new account. My new account is honestly looking very good already, that's why I'm very tempted to start recording some of the progress on that as well. But for now, I think we're sticking to the main, we're finishing up more tasks and uh, I just want to let everybody know that there is an option where I make some more content on another account. But uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting, not gonna lie. But for now though, I do believe it is time to go and do more bossing. But I guess before I go ahead and do more bossing, it's probably pretty fitting to check for the trophies right here. Oh wait, I do remember this. So the reason I can't claim this, I've been dragon rank every league but this one on this account because I remember this was my secondary account and I did dragon rank on my Iron Man account basically. Which is a bit of a shame because I can't claim this. But we can go ahead and claim the dragon trailblazer 4 rank and uh, see how it looks. I mean, it's literally the same, but I think it is better. Not gonna lie. I'll be wrapping this for sure. Looks good. And obviously you can claim all the other trophies as well. Might as well display them. Showcase it to you guys how they look. This is gonna be the dragon one. This is gonna be the rune one. Looks scuffed as, I don't know. Adamant one looks worse. Mithril one looks like a disaster. Steel one, oi oi oi. What is this, iron? And bronze. Yeah, we're gonna be wrapping the dragon one. Okay, I'm in the mood to do a little bit of Maspa. 26 KC at the start. We get a little cash. We get more essence. Not bad. I'm alking all of my battle staffs. I'm getting some seeds. Not the worst. Ancient icon, another one. We already have this. So this, I'm gonna assume, is now completely useless. It does alk for 60k though. It says high alk 60k. You cannot use alchemy on that item. So it's just a treasure item then for the bank. Sometimes this problem happens where I kill it too fast and there is no spikes that I can hide behind. Which is kind of funny but kind of weird at the same time. Anyways, I also need to start being more selective of what loot I'm actually picking up because will I actually plant all of these seeds? I'm not sure. Oh, two dragon. Oh, three dragon stuff. Nice, easy money. And there... Wait, what? What did I just do? Oh, 50 KC. Alright, so that is gonna be 80 points, a little bit extra. I think now it is time to move on to something else. I'll do these bosses in like smaller increments. Uh, but very good money from here. Like I think I made like 5 mil super quickly. Obviously alking my battle staffs and then getting like all the dragon and rune drops as well. Uh, I, what I do want to do is I want to get my construction to 50 million. Because if I do that then all the logs I can then focus on just burning or turning into fletching supplies. Because I do want to get most of the skills to 50 million throughout the course of this league. So I think that's going to be my next goal whilst I have the money. 
So you guys know how easy it is to make these planks. I just do this, boom, 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 space bar, boom, 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 space bar. And just keep repeating that basically. All right, so I was supposed to train construction, but I ended up AFKing wood cutting all the way to 35 mil and in the process got over 3000 mahogany logs and over 3000 ticks. I really need to turn these into planks and train some construction. Uh, so I guess that's what I'll do next, unless I end up AFKing here for many more hours. I made about 5000 planks. I'll see how much XP this gets me. I want to maintain about a million though. Don't want to go into completely zero coins. It looks like I will be averaging about 17 million XP an hour. I don't know how much XP I'll get from these 5000 planks though. Maybe this one does it. There it is, 25 million construction XP. We're now up to 56,480 points. Am I in the mood to do some PvE? Probably. Let's go ahead and do some more Leviathan maybe? Mm, actually, wait, wait, wait. There is a forgotten brew task. Let me get another point task very quickly if I can. <laughs> Alright, so unless I did something wrong, I should be able to make... Okay, this is a bit annoying. I need 50 of those. Wait, let me just try to do one before I mess something up. Hey, there it is. This is what we gotta do. We gotta make 50 of those and then we even have tasks further. So, uh, yeah, everything seems to be working. Let's uh, make sure we crash all of these nihil horns. Shards, I mean. And that should be us making 50 ancient brews for 40. And I do believe if I now take the essence out... I can get a 200 pointer out of this. Let's just see how this works. Is it like this? Yep, there we go. All I need to do is make 50 forgotten brews for extra points. And unless something bugged out, that is us making 50 forgotten brews as well for extra free 200 points. Not bad. No way, no way, no way. Lucky impling. I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. Dude. Oh my god, I just randomly stumbled across this. This guy was fucking sprinting. Oh man, I only needed this for points. I just wanted to kill Whisperer. Up until this point, I didn't even know I can kill Whisperer on this account. For some reason, he just slipped through everything. Uh, but yeah, that was the freest 200 points ever. I just ran into a lucky impling on my way. I still need to catch Dragon Impling as well. There's so many points. I haven't gotten that I could easily get. It will just naturally happen. Uh, but yeah, almost 57,000 points. Let's see if we can do Whisperer with only range. It has plus 300 range defense, but who knows? Maybe we can do it. Yeah, this boss is a bit annoying with range because it has like so much defense. But I mean, I'll take 80 points for free. But I don't think I'll kill it too much more at the moment. Let's test Duke with range, but both of these kills are very lengthy, so I think I'll go back to Leviathan and just be there for majority of the kills. Ah, oh, fuck that, the guy is so annoying. I'm just gonna die here. Wait, is this even... Okay, it is a South Tower, so this should kill him, right? Okay, at least this kills him. Right, uh, yeah, this guy is... I mean, I, I, I literally watched a guide on how to kill him, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, we'll be back later, for now. Like, I'm gonna take the 80 points and dip. This is, this is not it. Why was there, was there a pop-up? I don't know. I got 80 points, I think. Uh, the solution for this problem is we're gonna go do Leviathan until I'm bored. <laughs> what was that? I feel like I specced every hit. 30 sec- wait, it's not even my best. <laughs> wait a second, hold up. I thought this was a sick kill. It wasn't even my fastest. We got some smoke quartz. Still don't know what this is used for, not gonna lie. Our very first Awakener Orb on 109kc. I've never done any Awakened uh, bosses, but once I am ready, I have that option. Okay, and right after that we get some Onyx Bolt Tips, which is uh, honestly really decent. 1.1 million worth there. The reason why I like Onyx Bolts is it's one of my extra sustains when I put them on my Dragon Bolts. And it's just in general super useful in combination with my Soul Stealer Relic. It actually goes kind of hard because I can basically heal to full HP in almost no time when I use Onyx Bolts on top of that. Oh my god, in a back-to-back -back Onyx Bolt situation, we have enough Onyx Bolt Tips for... The whole league at this point, I think. Hey yo, new personal best, 026, we take those. Another Onyx Bolt Tips, we are now up to 300, this is perfect. 
There it is, 150 Leviathan completed. I do believe I want to do a little bit of Chill Slayer right now. There is a lot of tasks regarding of just getting superiors. There's one for Eternal Gem. There's just like a bunch of tasks. And uh, also there's some Cerberus tasks I haven't done. Basically, lots of reasons to do some Chill Slayer. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Firstly though, I would like you to see how many Dragon Bolts we actually have available on the account and uh, I should really be fletching this whilst slaying. The plan for Slayer is simple, if it has a Slayer monster, we do it, if it's Cerberus, we do it, if it's Greater Demons, we probably go back to God Wars. So Jellies, I believe, have superior version, they drop clue scrolls, let's go ahead and do those as well. First superior of the, well, this grind, let's call it. I know I've killed 41 superiors so far. This is the 42nd for nothing. That's completely fine. Um, I want to get to 50. 50 superiors is 200 points. That would be very easy, 200 points to get. For the first time, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a checkup on the high scores. At the moment, right now, as I'm recording this, I'm doing a little refresh, log out into a refresh combo. I'm actually rank 400. Which I think is a very high rank considering I have not been going for points whatsoever. I mean, it's been just passively getting to me as I've been hunting the beast piece. But I feel like 400 rank is honestly decent. Like, it's not bad. And if I really push for it, if let's say I get all the god swords, I get the full Torva, maybe I go back to TOA, I get full Mazori. All of those tasks are so simple. I could easily start honestly considering pushing for some higher page spots, so to say. But for now, we're just gonna focus on simple things, take it one step at a time, and uh, we'll kind of keep track on how the league points are looking like. But at the moment rank 405 superior spawn at the end of the task you love to see it let's see if we get something from this one uh nothing from this one lovely this is exactly what i wanted 65 hellhounds i don't know why only 65 uh, but let's go ahead and do cerberus i only have 97 kc at serb let's take a look at how many i'm supposed to kill there is one for 150 serb and one for 300 serb so we're only gonna get to 150 in this task if you need a little reminder as to what we still need from Cerberus, here is the current collection log. We got the Pegasian Crystal, Primordial Crystal, and Smoldering Stone. I would love to get the Jar, and I would love to get the Eternal Crystal. Both of those would be points, I believe. I already have the boots where I could attach Eternal Crystal to, so let's go ahead and farm a bit of Serb. Well, this is perfect. We just got an Eternal Crystal as well. Which is the last crystal we needed. That's crazy. I will still go ahead and uh, do up to 300 uh, Cerberus, of course. If I grab my Infinity Boots, I'm first gonna wear them just in case. Use the crystal on the boots and wear those as well. That's not points. I guess that's not points. But anyways, we have all the drops from Serb, which is huge. Uh, so from now on, it's just getting 300 KC. But I do believe that with that drop, I think this is a nice and suitable place to end today's episode. We're ending it as a rank 400 on the ladder with 57,160 points. We are obviously maxed and we've done some of the longest grinds on the account already, which is huge. We got almost full base missing Mazori Chaps. I haven't done any TOA in this episode, I don't think. I don't know why. I guess all the duos that are really good at the game that I used to do it with, they all quit leagues. So TOA is maybe a little bit more on the back burner. The difference between the Mazori and Armadil is not big. It is just 400 points that I'm missing and then extra points that I'm missing from not having a Fang, extra points from not having Elidinus Ward. So a lot of points I can still get from TOA. But that is a problem for another episode. I really do hope you guys did enjoy. If you made it this far into the video, leave a little like, perhaps leave a comment and uh, subscribe. I'll be back in a couple of days with another Leagues video. And until then, have a lovely rest of your day. Have a good one and bye-bye.